this is going to be a very interesting week in day trading futures. There's a lot of earnings and there's FOMC statements. That being said, we knew that today was going to be a little choppy, weird, fake outs, etc. Luckily, we were able to establish that and capitalize on it. So please sit back and enjoy as we review the trades for the stream recap. How are we doing? Happy Monday. Let's quickly talk about some things going on this week. This week, we got earnings going on this week. Here are the earnings. Here's the earnings schedule. The reason I'm showing this is because we have some big hitters, specifically in the terms of the NASDAQ, right? We got Alphabet. We got Apple, Amazon, Shopify. So a bunch of big hitters here. You can see before or after the close and on what days they're occurring. So Thursday is going to be a big one. Apple, Amazon. Some of these make up a very large percentage of the NASDAQ, right? We do have FOMC statements on Wednesday. Um, so that's coming up this week. Uh, and then a bunch of other stuff at the top of the hour, nine o'clock. So um, I kind of personally am coming into this week feeling um, uncertain, I guess is a good way to put it. Uncertain on the um, general trajectory of the moves. I would say that most people probably feel that way. Um, so I'm kind of anticipating some choppy fake out action. Opening up inside yesterday's value area, we got uh, overnight high sitting at 88. Overnight lows sitting at 950. Sweep of the lows pushes into the 40s. Sweep of the highs pushes into the 4K range, right? But as of right now, opening up inside the range. NAS pushing into VWAP there, um, also in the range. Got overnight highs sitting at 500. A push above 500 brings us into the magical 80s at 580 for yesterday's Friday's value area high. A break of 380 brings us down into uh, the 340s. So that's kind of the rotations that we're looking at. Um, but very interested in just breaks of the highs or lows and until then just kind of chopping out. We'll see. All right. So we just swept the overnight lows kind of hanging out at 80 here. ES just put in a bunch of volume. I'm going to get long here. Got a little bit of buyer showing up. ES with the volume down below. Magical 80s. Uh, trying to snap to the downside potentially. Got some sellers trying to potentially show up as well. Just swept those lows. There we go. There's a little crack. 10 points down. It's a decent candle. 50 points. Just want to see how we close this out. We do have 45 being the uh, value area low from yesterday. Pretty interested in that. I also like the push up into 407 potentially. But I don't know if that's too aggressive or not. Little bit of buyers here. Not much yet. Yes, potentially pushing up into 62 out of volume. I'm just looking at a volume exit here. And I'm out. Just shy of 15 points. We just pushed into volume or into uh, 62 on the on the ES. I got out of volume at 95, cycle level 400, but I like the 407 play, which is val uh, opening range low, I believe. That's what I was talking about prior. I just, that seemed a little aggressive to me, 407 here. So I took off the, uh, what I thought was a little bit less aggressive. Make sure you press the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed to the channel. Turn on those bell notifications. We go live every single morning here on the YouTube channel at 8.20 a.m. Central Time for the market open. We trade the morning session, so you can always hang out here live for the morning trading sessions. We're breaking to the downside here on the NAS. Let's go see what happens at 45, 45 to 50 range. We got some sellers coming in. I don't know if I trust it as the ES is not even near the lows yet. Maybe they're just trying to hold it up. I don't know. I don't know. But we do have value area low coming in from Friday. Nice little 20 point bounce. Got some buyers trying to come through. Let's see if we go back down and test 45. See what's happening if we do that. That would be interesting to me. But right now we're still holding the magical 80s. Tough conditions right now. Tough conditions. Well, the good news is that we were at least prepared for this today. Weird chop and stuff like that. Uh, here we go. Pushing into the lows again. New lows on the NAS. Like, do I buy the extremes again? I'm going to do it. I'm taking a, a quick little stab long here. Yes, currently holding value very low. Got all those topside wicks. Yeah, has got some sellers trying to push through. Down 20 points right now. All right, there's 20. Down 30 points. I'm adding one. I'm taking the buy off of it. Delta looks good. Look to exit one around 70, which is like bottom of the range, prior range. And then I want to let one run back up into the back up into the highs, but I don't know if we'll fully get that trade or not. At this point, I, at this point I'm just kind of watching Delta to see if we can continue to push out of this or not. 
Candle doesn't look horrible, horrible on the NAS right now. So just needs to get back above value area low from yesterday. Closing above 44, 44 to me is super good. Um, closing red is not good. <laughs> super complicated right there, right? We're just kind of slowly dying on Delta on the NAS, which is not, I don't love that. There's new lows on the NAS. Sweep and go potentially. Now pushing up, we got view up at 67. A value area low on the NAS at 61. I do enjoy a little sweep and go like that. We can hold up. Blue line algo. Playing strong, playing hard to get. Another sweep to the downside. Big smack. Super big smack on the ES. New lows. Gotta be careful here on the NAS. So that's the new lows on the NAS, on the ES, excuse me. So we are, I mean, yeah, technically it's trending down. It just feels, um, it feels poppy to me still, which is weird. So that was like a, uh, 40 point move after saying it felt poppy. <laughs> what indicators the blue lines by average price blue line algo is, uh, just a meme of my average price that somehow is always like the strongest resistance and or strongest support, depending on which side of the trade I'm on. If you are brand new, make sure you check out the links down below the video. Top step is linked down below. If you're brand new to trading, or if you're looking for ex extra money to trade with, you can look at top step. Basically, it's a two-step process. You prove to them that you're a good trader, and then they give you money to trade with. They take 10%, you keep 90% of the profits. The first $5,000 you make is 100% yours. You can learn more about that. First link down below. Pretty cool. Uh, there we go. Uh, pushing 60 and a half. Trying to rip out. ES got, or excuse me, NAS needs to push 50s. Like, gotta push higher here. But like I said, been saying to me, pumpy vibes. There's VWAP on the ES. Coming back down, test the wicks makes sense. Would prefer for us just to obviously continue running. I'm very close to just taking one off here on the NAS. Letting that last one run from 20. All right, I'm out of one. Um, so yeah, we took off 10 points. Um, just to kind of de-risk a little bit, just in case we do kind of get to move to the downside. I want to lock in some of that money. Um, I think the next stop is probably 400. And if we push 400 in VWAP, winning control, then I want to see us push 420. So that's kind of the next stage of events that I want to see. Doesn't mean we're going to see that, but everything looks okay. Um, for the continued move to the upside. So yeah, just trying to play that out. All right. Pushing back into, uh, those tops of the wicks here that we were just talking about 50 down into 36 or so. All pretty interesting i don't think it made sense to fully fully kill the trade at 66 but i am happy i took one off um we'll see if we can continue to push here or not though we'll double top on the es at 68 and a half my thoughts on the double top are that that normally gets repaired and when i say repaired i mean normally we will push higher than that there we go we repaired that we repaired it by a tick i don't love that actually but we do have a little hint of life here so trying to be patient I'm not patient. <laughs> I'm going to call it there, guys. Uh, we're up at 1100 bucks. Uh, I'm calling it there.